Sorry about that, Libra. Hi, Libra. This is your reading. Something went wrong. Let's get started. Take care and enjoy. Charlie from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the romance reading for August 2020 and I hope you're well and safe and welcome back my Cyber Angel and thank you very much for your loyalty uh, in coming back and sharing and liking and welcome to new viewers that have just landed on the channel or the page and uh, I hope you will enjoy this reading as well please subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be notified when I go live as I go live three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday um, if you would like to have an extensive reading or a private reading then the information is below this video in the description box or in the top right hand corner there is a white circle click on that and then uh, you can it will take you to the website just click on the picture of the angel and thank you very much for all your shares and likes everybody and I do uh, give away free cards when I go live and I answer questions also that are supported by a donation which is a super chat or a super sticker now there is some news uh, and there will be a restart on the competition there will be a, um, a private page made on Facebook so if you do want to join into the competition for the Shadowlands the vice versa deck or the third place 20 minutes uh, of a free reading with me then uh, keep an eye out in the community tab or in uh, uh, when I uh, or on Facebook Charlie's Angel Tarot I will notify everybody like I notify everybody before I go live on Instagram, Facebook and the community tab on YouTube. Talking about the community tab, please um, know, uh, check whether you are still member a member of your favorite channels as YouTube is also deleting uh, memberships. Uh, that is because people go to a channel and don't come back and they get deleted because they don't visit frequent enough and it is annoying to creators as well as to viewers because I've had some uh, queries about that by several uh, viewers that they're not getting notified or why are they deleted well just make sure that you are a member of your ch of your favorite channels uh, this is really I've done loads of videos now so sorry if I'm not with the program <laughs> because my half of me is with the other side getting messages and they're saying hurry up hurry up hurry up <laughs> they want to get going um, I do find that some of the romance readings have really really in-depth messages coming from the other side so let's see whether anybody is going to come through and mingle <laughs> their little advice here or tell me something that somebody needs to know I know I read for thousands of people so if this reading doesn't resonate with you then have a look or listen to your rising sign or your moon sign this is for the sun sign uh, rising sign and moon sign for Libra okay the first card that you have is express your love go ahead and make a romantic gesture this could be a kiss this could be holding hands this could be asking somebody out this could be sending somebody a love message or saying hello darling how are you did you sleep well things like that Sh that is romantic then we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is Scorpio. She represents Scorpio, but don't forget Cancer or Pisces. This is a woman that's loving, passionate. That's what the cups stand for. Caring and nurturing, sensual and sexy. Okay or even somebody that enjoys music or dancing and relaxes with a cup of tea 
I love the way these cards are depicted. <coughs> so, this could be um, somebody, Libra, that is a, can uh, a Scorpio. Show your love towards the Scorpio. They are, s they are the sexiest sign, as that is what is n known, and they're renowned for that they're mysterious and sexy. So and they do and they are shy and they are sensitive and they do creep back into their little shell. So show that beautiful gesture that you love them. Let them know so that they come out of their shell and they will shine. And they do appreciate the attention because that is nurturing to them and care. Show them that you care then you've got the sun the sun means that you are in the spotlight they might even have an eye for you or they are keeping an eye on you okay <coughs> the sun also illuminates so perhaps something you don't know something and or there is an issue or a question and you don't know the answer to that uh, so you need to do some more research to find out. The sun also means moving home or going on holiday. The sun also means new beginnings and usually we say, I say, birth, birth of a child or birth of a project. This is taking, um, this could also mean taking up your relationship or, uh, to the next level. If you're not hooked up, you could be saying, right, we're going to get engaged or we'll get, would you like to get married shall we get married or shall we live together that is also moving in now you might there might be a birth of a child okay so that is also moving your relationship up to the next level even if you are hooked up you might find out that your partner or your loved one is expecting so there could be good news coming to you. 31 is a 4, so this relationship is stable. It's definitely a relationship you can build on and with. There is a lot of chemistry. Don't forget we are in Leo now. And that is passion. That is also action and creative. Creativeness and also logic so chemistry yes there is a strong magnetic attraction well that is passion and being creative mm. and we've got this action uh, because we are in Leo as well there is a lot of fire like the Sun okay well, there's a lot of fire warmth uh, action Wow and you've got the lovers yes if you're not hooked up you could be meeting a Gemini the lovers represent Gemini Libra and other air sign Ooh, that might be the chemistry uh, you have a lots of the same uh, talents or understanding as a Gemini being active being talkative being um, eager to learn using your brain ticking that brain of yours is just as ticking as fast as or ticking over as fast as the Gemini there is a great balance in this relationship you know how to weigh uh, things up with this relationship because they're quick and you are quick you don't have to take two steps back and go to somebody else's level and slow down this is what makes you happy Wow, you have met your soulmate. Wow. If you are a, a, a man, um, this could be an other man. This could be a same-sex relationship. Okay. If you are a lady, this could mean that your man is a really masculine. And if you're a man, this could mean that your lady is uh, has a quite can have quite a masculine side to her, as a man stands uh, means stead steadfastness. As a man, 
means steadfastness, career orientated, bringing the money home, being the head of the family. So this could be a lady that is career orientated and is they say what they mean and they do what they say. So you know where you stand with them and that keeps you in balance Libra because you do find it sometimes difficult so it is your equal if it is um, a man it is also your equal if you are a Libra lady and funny enough this man has got wings he's drawn as a bat, bat and you and I've just seen this and boom it clicks you are both air signs this is magic a man is steady so can women be but women are more emotional they live according to their emotions okay and yeah and they're nurturing so this lady or this man could be more direct and expect to be taken care of and um, once doesn't need so much nurturing but they in on the quiet they do on the quiet like the Scorpio he creeps back into his shell or she creeps back into her shell um, and they love to be nurtured because they are a water sign and they uh, do uh, they are more emotional so there are three people here in fact you've got the Sun is Leo then we've got uh, cancer and then we've got Gemini so it can be a cancer in Leo or Leo in cancer rising or moon sign or it can be a Gemini uh, with rising cancer or moon sign or Leo so you have if you do have a Gemini um, with uh, Leo in it then it is passion all the way and be careful that you don't burn out because air gives the fire the chance to grow and then pitter out I don't know how to say that so don't get burnt out take things easy and gently like cancer Ooh. this is a 28 so that becomes a 10 so take it easy and slowly because I know you're both very swift and it will cost you a lot of energy and this chemistry if it's chemistry and all just passion then that will burn out if you don't take care of it then it will end okay so if you want to stay together and you want to make this a long-lasting relationship take it step by step <coughs> know your boundaries and know their boundaries oh that's so deep okay then we're going on to the third week unrequented love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going no not if it is just based on chemistry then it's just passion and action so if you want this relationship to stay then you, like I said you have to have more than just chemistry then it becomes unrequented love and then one of you will lose interest it need, this is the danger with two air signs together they need um, they need something uh, that interests them and um, that because their mind is always ticking over and Gemini yeah the Gemini can do two things or more at the same time they lo can lose their interest so make sure that this is true love and let them know it's true love and tell them slow down because it takes time to get to know each other we need to talk besides just chemistry action it action doesn't mean to say that you have sex 24 hours a day it could mean that you might be working and uh, going go-karting or going running and there's not enough time for talk 
and exchange ideas. You need to grow. You need to know what each other likes so that you can find your own space within the relationship. Then we have the star. Your wish is coming true. And you've got number 17, which is an 8. That is the powerhouse. You are in balance here, but you're going from a 6 to an 8. That means the money house and the powerhouse. So a wish is coming true. If you wish that this is going to be a long-lasting relationship because it's your soulmate, it will, but it will take work. Then you've got the garden and 20. So you will get in or you can get into balance. Two is balance. The garden means coming together, reuniting. Um, you might be going to weddings. You might be going to birthday parties. You might be going to meetings. Um, like uh, if you are taking the next step up from uh, just a, a passionate relationship, you might get um, and take and you're doing something about this unrequented love, and there is true love there, then your wish will come true. <coughs> okay, then you might be meeting mum and dad and the rest of the family. There might be celebrations because you might be getting engaged or getting married definitely with these two cards right and also with the lovers because you know um, you are soulmates now religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path well it can be more than that as well it can also be culture you might come from a different country or they might be coming from a different country but they are your queen or king. Look at that halo or that crown. You just have to fight for what you believe in and uh, you have to accept, you have accepted your partner the way they are. They feel as if they are your soulmate. You are not looking at somebody's uh, exterior. You know and feel their heart and you know their interior and their intentions towards you. Now you've come through a hard time, perhaps it's taken a couple of months, ten months perhaps, to get things in in a row, to get your ducks in a row. This is what I'm seeing, ducks in a row. <laughs> and there will be an ending to difficulties you will be accepted once they see you and and once they see how gentle you are Libra and how uh, meaningful and steady you are steadfast they will come around there is a new beginning number one and your wish is coming true whoa Then we have the lantern, and the lantern reminds me of the hermit. He's got a lantern on his head to shine light on his path. You have been through a heavy period w with your partner, perhaps being accepted by the family. There might be a reunion, and now that they are seeing you for the second or the third time, they will accept you. So there is the new beginning. You've shown that your steadfastness and that you are serious. And you um, might have um, meditated and contemplated and manifested and, uh, um, and things like that, visualized your belief in coming together with your soulmate and your wishes coming true. Wow. You've also meditated, contemplated and evaluated and see what you could have done. You've talked to your partner about it and they feel at home with you. And you're bringing your family up. That's going to come as well. You're going to bring your children up in a different way. You've got number 11 here. 38 becomes an 11. So the angels have your back. This is literally spiritual. You don't mind how how they are 
where they come from or what their beliefs are. You want to be with this person and you fight for this person. Good on you. Now you've got a, the golden card, physical body protection, golden mash, shields up. Okay, Archangel Ma uh, Michael suggests the golden mash protection technique. That is like a veil of golden fell. Just throw it over you and your loved one. Okay? And then you are protected. Protection technique. Nick, bring security and harmony to your energy field. Nobody can penetrate your energy field and that of your love. You have protected and defended your relationship through thick and thin and look what the angels are saying peaceful resolution you will be accepted because you have protected your relationship through thick and thin you have stood your ground you've taken all that has to be taken okay and what I say I usually say is when people are against you because you come from a ba different culture or a different religion what do you want who's important here you and your loved one your partner your potential partner then step away it's your life your relationship and you need to see that I know that parents are can be of a great influence and you don't want arguments with parents or in-laws but you really have to choose for your relationship if you love this person the way they are and good on you I hope you have enjoyed this reading stay safe and take care please like and share ciao ciao